95% of diets fail. More than 70% of people stop going to the gym after the first three months. And most of you won't be patient enough to watch this video to the end, even though you would really like to see a change in your life. These are not coincidences. They happen because most times we set ourselves up to fail. In the end, we simply conclude that our strategy isn't working. But have you ever stopped to think, why are there people who succeed despite using the same strategy? We have all been in situations when things are not working in our favor, but we don't really know why. Whether it's in your finances, relationship, business, or your career, or maybe it is about your health. You might want to lose weight or gain some muscle. But no matter what strategy you try to implement, it always seems to fail and you are back to square one to find a better strategy that will eventually work. When most people see statistics on dieting, how 95% of diets fail, they instantly assume that there are 5% of diets that actually work. So they spend a lot of time trying to find a diet that falls into that 5% category. But this is a false assumption. What this data means is that 100 people went on a diet to lose weight and only 5 people achieved their intended results regardless of the diet they used. Every diet has a success rate. One might have a success rate of 45% while the other one might have 30%. This leads us to a very simple conclusion, that every diet can fail as well as deliver the results that you want. So the question is, what strategy must you choose to succeed? Is it the one with the highest success rate or the one that costs the most amount of money? As the saying goes, the best diet is the one that you can follow and that is very true. This is Ben and he wants to lose 30 pounds. Diet A will help him to lose two pounds per week, meaning that he will be able to achieve his goal in as little as 15 weeks, while diet B will help him to lose only one pound per week, and in total, it will take him 30 weeks to achieve his goal. The challenge is that with diet A, he needs to follow a very strict schedule and eliminate many of his favorite foods. On the other hand, Diet B has a more flexible approach. He does need to calorie count, but he can still eat most of his favorite foods and even treat himself with one cheat meal per week. As we can see, Diet A will deliver quicker results, but at a higher cost compared to Diet B that has a more flexible approach. In the end, every person needs to make their own decision when it comes to what the best diet means for them. But choosing the best strategy is not the only obstacle that people face when trying to achieve their goals. Because expectations can ruin even your best strategy. It has been observed that patients who have low expectations for medical procedures respond poorly to treatment compared to those who have high expectations for the same procedure. This is called the nocebo effect and it occurs when we believe or don't believe that something will work or not. If you use a strategy with the belief that it will work, then you will be motivated to put in the effort, and when you do this, you're likely going to see positive results. But if you don't expect the strategy to work, then you will not be putting in the effort required, and most likely, you will fail. While having a positive expectation for your strategy is good, you shouldn't overestimate and set your expectation bar too high. Let's say Ben decided to go for diet A because he wants to lose the most amount of weight in the quickest possible time. Week one and two are great. He manages to stick with his diet and he is losing weight consistently. In week three, he does exactly the same things, but he only manages to lose one pound instead of two. This demotivates Ben and he decides to treat himself to his favorite dessert. In week four, Ben's weight remains the same. This is a tipping point where he decides to quit and look for a strategy that will deliver more consistent results. In the end, it wasn't the strategy that failed Ben, but the strict expectations that he had set for himself. 
And when one strategy fails, we are quickly chasing the next best strategy, and then the next one, and so on. We become chasers that are never satisfied with what we have at the moment because we hope that somewhere out there is one magic strategy that will work wonders for us. The reality, however, is that most of the strategies will work if you put in the effort and set the right expectations. When it comes to choosing the right strategy for you, whether it is to lose weight, learn a new skill, or make money, you don't need the best strategy, but you need the one that you can stick with and execute. So, instead of jumping from one strategy to another, stick to one that suits your current situation and lifestyle, as it will likely become an integral part of your life. And speaking of strategies, I would like to use the opportunity and share the productivity framework that I use to structure my life and achieve my goals. Is it the best strategy to be productive? I don't know. But it works for me and hundreds of people who also use it. It's the system that you can use to set goals, create structure, and manage your tasks. There is a free template that you can download, and it comes with a training video that explains how the system works. That's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.